this is station SBC, the Sandy Valley Network, on dial 600 on your TV. We're interviewing Speedy Gary for the big Sandy Valley Championship race. We are now in the pit area of Speedy Gary. Speedy, is your auto in top-notch condition? Uh, yes, Ginzo. The Tingler is in tip-top shape today. Did we do anything special to modify this car? Oh, we went over the whole the whole deal. We, we did everything. We beefed up the engine a little bit, kicked up the suspension, and I think we're ready. What are your strategies to beat uh, the Rocket? Oh, the Rocket has no chance. No chance at all. Once once I take off, uh, the only thing the Rocket's going to eat is dust. Do you have anything more to add to this? Yes, uh, he's trying to pull one of his uh, typical fast ones on me now. It's one hour before the race, and he didn't show up yet, so I think he's going to try to pull his grand entrance. But it's going to do no good. I'm going to have a beverage and relax a little bit, and I'll be ready for the race. This is Ginzo reporting from the pit crew of Speedy Gary. One, one more thing I'd like to add. He's a crafty old Irish bastard. Signing <laughs> <laughs> off. This is it for SB, yeah, SBC Station, Sandy Valley Campground. Right now is a no-show. Standing on my side is Speedy Gary, which will be here in a second. Here comes Speedy Gary, ladies and gentlemen. Speedy, it's 1.30, the race is scheduled for 2 o'clock, Rocket George has yet to show. Do you have any comments? Yes, I knew that the old crafty Irish bastard was scared and he wouldn't show up. He has no chance. This is just pure nonsense. He won't even come and give me a shot. He thinks he has the title. I've got it wrapped up. Mr. Speedy, are we going to give the rocket any grace time? This is uh, up to your discretion. I'm going to go up the mountain, and I'm going to get on the starting line, and I'm going to look around. And you know what? You know how bad I want to beat him? I'll get him all the time. Any other comments at this point? No, but I just think if he doesn't show up, that he should just leave the area. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Ginzo reporting for your SBC Campground Network. The other Thank man, you. no show, did not show up. No okay, show here he comes. Work. Here comes Speedy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, did he come up there? We are going to have a race. The spectators want to race. So the substitute driver is Mr. Ginzo. He is going to challenge Speedy Gary, and let's hope for the best. The substitute race.
as Rocket George did not show up. So we will have a race, people. Thank you for your patience. Okay, they're about ready to start. Flash Ginzo is taking on Speedy Gary for the substitute race. And here they come. They are neck to neck. Flash Ginzo is in the lead. Speedy Gary is close to him. Speedy Gary is taking the lead. This is a neck to neck race. They are coming up on the quarter mile stretch. Speedy Gary has them, but Flash Kinzo is holding on to his own. I think Flash Kinzo is going to take it. No, it's Speedy Gary. Here we go. It's Speedy Gary. Speedy Gary got the win by a neck with Flash Kinzo. Kinzo, great race, boys. comes the winner for the second time today. Speedy Gary is the winner again. He won two races. He won two. He bet Flash. He bet Flash Kinzo. And Rocket George didn't show up, so he won two races. Give him a big clap, a big hand for the championship, the champion of Sandy Valley Capground. Go! This is the SVC, Sandy Valley Campground Network. Dial 600 on your television. We're here live at the finish line for our first annual Sandy Valley race. Now at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Mr. Champ Roberts. Champ, congratulations. Thank you. How was your race? Oh, it was, it was, it was just fun. It was fun for me. Uh, it's just too bad that the rocket couldn't show. I mean, I hate to win this way, but you know, being the coward that he is, I can understand it. Well, Mr. Roberts, me and you had a sociable bet for three hundred dollars, and I lost it. So at this time, I would like to pay my debts because I don't renege like the rocket. So at this time, here's one hundred. 200, 300. Thank now, you. I won't have no money for a beer the rest of the week. Thank maybe, you. Maybe you'll give me a beer during Thank the week. You. Thank you. I'll, I'll give you a beer, and I'll tell you what. See, I feel very bad about what what the rocket did to you. Here. Here's some beer money for you, son. Well, there thank you. you. Thank you, Jack. Well, thank you. You don't have to do it. Jack, we're running this race a week late. And we're given George the rocket another chance. Now, who can we say about this? Well, last week, as you know, was perfect, ideal conditions for racing, and uh, the rocket didn't show, so uh, we waited, and I think he went and uh, checked with the weather bureau, and uh, it was rainy, and all oh, the, the track is really slushy and wet, and oh my God, but you know, this is, he thinks this is all gonna work for his advantage. He's wrong. Well, Mr. Schneider and myself and you and the Rocket, we checked out the track conditions this morning. And uh, as you said, the track is a little bit sloppy. So which way do you think this will favor? Well, it's going to favor the Rocket, definitely, because uh, I have, I'm running an open cockpit, and uh, the mud from my wheels will present a little bit of problem, but nothing I can't handle. Well, Champ, as you know, I was with the Rocket as of last week. Now, my money's going, and our cameraman, Richie Schneider, his money's going with you, champ. What do you think about this? Smartest move he's ever made. Well, The Rocket called me from Philadelphia Thursday night and told me that I'm a fool to put my money on you. And uh, I sort of disagree with him, so I hope you don't let us down, champ. Oh, no problem, no problem. Uh, as I said before, here comes The Rocket. All right, we're not with it. By the rocket. Sorry we were so cruelly interrupted by the rocket. This is Ginzo reporting live from the Sandy Valley Campground Network. Thank you. Thank you.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're now in the pit area of George the Rocket Martin. Last week, ladies and gentlemen, was a no-show. At this time, I would like to introduce George the Rocket Martin. Rocket, would you come in for a second? Yes, 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 I will. Rocket, at this time, you want to ask me a few questions. Do you mind answering? No, I don't mind. I don't mind. All right, the first question all the fans want to know is, why were you a no-show last week? Why was I a no-show? Because I wanted to marry my employee. Or was your traditional strategy move? Right. This is a strategy move, and uh, it upsets him. And uh, he's going to have trouble with me today. I see this is a modification on your, on your vehicle. You can give us some description of what you have done. I don't think it's not a good one. You want to keep everything quiet until after the race? I don't have any Do you want to go after the race with the modifications you made? Win or lose? All right. Good enough and what's this theme song we hear in the background? What is this all about? This is, uh, this is the way I feel. You feel like Rocky? Back. Back. <laughs> this is Jimzo reporting live from your Sandy Valley Campground Network. <laughs> Thank you. I just love it, man. Kentucky Colonel and, and, and uh, Mussolini over here. <laughs> <laughs> Stand back here, you guys, to get on the camera. Come on. I got them. Back here. Larry! We're going to get you back. We're going to run up and down about three or four different times so we know the, the, we know the ground, okay? <coughs> we need a uh, fill so here. Don't nobody get hurt. What do you mean, whatever? Hey, Gary, can we charge the people when we show them? All right. We get rid of the people and I get rid of the... Yeah, you got it. On camera. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first annual Sandy Valley Half Miler. Here we are in the infield, and now I see a big crowd approaching. Let's introduce the main drivers. At this time, I'd like to introduce Gary the Champ Roberts. Mr. Roberts, would you like to say a few words to the people? No, not really. Uh, get so all the talking done. It's time to do some uh, boogie. Do we have any strategies for this race? No, no strategy. I'm just going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> all right, I wish you all luck. At this time, I would like to introduce George the Rocket Martin. Mr. Martin. If, he, if he's going to kick the shit out of me, he's going to need an awful big shoe. So all I can tell you, this sounds like a nasty race. Well, it is nasty. I really don't like the guy. You don't like the guy? <laughs> sounds like to do something about that on the, on the track. Hey, I can do that. Too, you know. I'm ready for this. I'm prepared. Well, we wish you a lot of luck. Well, you can wish me luck, you know. I mean, he's a, what would you call him? Uh, a little nothing. And he's after a 64-year-old man. This 64-year-old man go kick his ass. Time will tell. All right. Thank you for your, At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Ed Sandy Valley Nominowitz. Hello, Mr. Nominowitz. How are you? Good to see you. What is your opinion on his first annual race? Well, I'm not allowed to have an opinion here, Ginzo. I'm here as a, uh, a spectator, and I'm make sure that everything's on the up and up. When there's any bullshit going on, you know, we want to keep everything square base. So I'm sort of the NHRA of Sandy Valley. I'm here to make sure that everything's jigged for square. Well, thank you very much. All right. At this time, I see a gentleman from here, sir. And where are you from, sir? Uh, Wilkesbury. Bring you up here. Uh, big race. Which way is your money going? Well, I'm a little undecided yet. You know, I was a little slow coming up, so I thought maybe I'd wait till they're ready to drop that flag to make my bet. Okay, thank you very much, uh, sir. Quite all right. Who else do we have here? Slim! PA, get over here! Uh, and ma'am, where are you from now? I'm from Freeland, Pennsylvania. And what is your name to you? They call me Mother. What brings you here today? I'm with my husband, the cameraman. <laughs> oh, you're the cameraman. I hate the race. You come here. I don't At this time, I want to introduce Mr. Slim. Here's the pit man for George the Rocket Martin. Slim, would you say a few words, please? We're number one. We're going to win all the way. We've been working on this thing, and we got it right. Are you sure enough? 
We're perfectly sure. Okay, now I think it's showtime, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gindle reporting live for your SBC Sandy Valley Campground Network. Thank you. Well, we got, here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. The Indians are here. Here comes the Irish. All right. Sir, what is your name, please? Sean, you're putting My name's Biz, and I brought Muffy with me. And where are you from, Biz? Well, we're, we're actually from uh, Montauk Point, you know, on, on the island. And uh, we were spending the summer in the Hamptons, but we heard about the raids at uh, Sandy B. And uh, we just couldn't miss it. Uh, it promises to be the social and sportsman event of the year. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Wouldn't have missed it. Hey, hey, I'm sure well, well, thank you very much, sir. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, my God. And this time I see a lady here in a green hat. She looks like a mother. She looks like a little uh, a papinky. She's quite the Irish line. My name's Sue. And where are you from? Oh, I'm from I should be out there from the What are you here? What's going on? This way. I mean, I'm from the whole school of the And which way is your money going? Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Rocky Tour, join the way. Rocky Tour. There is so much green up here. It's getting sick. Oh, I see another spectator here. She looks like... Hell yeah, Miss Courtney, and where are you from now? I'm from Beef Spring, Kentucky. And what brings you here on this fine afternoon? I'm here for the race. I wouldn't miss it for the world, I'm telling you. And where are you going, man? Well, hell, I'm going with that guy. What the hell's his name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, my money's on him. Thank you very much. Thank you for the lady. Uh, the Reverend Mel, come on down, sir. Give a, word, give, a, give a blessing to these cars. Reverend, would you give a little blessing for the two race drivers? Two of them are good. Two of them. Okay. Face the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Oh, what a, what a, I want to bless these two cars. Here, may they have a safe race. And may the best man win. Amen. 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 All right, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the principal. Hey. First of all, we're going to go with hey. Mr. Gary, the champ, Roberts. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh, I... <laughs> Woo! I okay, wish you a lot of luck in Thank today's you. big race. Thank you. Now, we're on the starting line here. This is your last chance to throw kisses. We do have to say about <laughs> I have nothing to say. Uh, uh, he's one hell of a man, and we're going to just see what happens. We want to have a safe, clean race. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Uh, no accidents. Uh, uh, the track isn't ideal, but it's fast. Are the conditions okay to run? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's, it's a lot better than I thought it would. If I could go get a helicopter and dry it off. I out. know. I know. I, I don't want that. That, that would be really? too much expense on this uh, crowd. I mean, they'd have to chip in. Yeah. 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 Charge yeah. Oh, I know that. I know that. Uh, all I can say is when it's said and done, uh, we'll have a couple of beers and we'll have a good time. Okay. I'd like to say good luck to the Rock. Thank you very much, Chef. At this time, I'd like to introduce George the Rocket Martin. <laughs> Mr. Martin, would you step into the line like me? Yes, sir. What are your comments now? We're on the starting line. Well, I think it's about time. We're reporting live from the starting line, Sandy Valley Campground Racetrack. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Five minutes. Honestly, thrilled. Look. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jennifer. Everybody. Here they come. Right I hear them. Is it the race? It must be. I hear them. This did it. Yes, Why don't you kids go up there? Okay. Don't go over the hill. Just go up there, okay? That was me. You picked up someone's dirt and rock. Here they come!
with that speed, I could have beat them guys, man. Thank <laughs> you. 